Colleagues, friends, greetings from New York. My name is Jatma Vikramanayaka and I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. Thank you to the organizers for the invitation to join you for this important event. As you may know, a core part of my mandate is to bring the United Nations closer to young people and young people closer to the United Nations. The greatest tool I have to do this is Youth 2030, the UN's first ever system-wide strategy on youth. It envisions a world in which the human rights of every young person are realized, a world that ensures every young person is empowered to achieve their full potential, and a world that recognizes young people's agency, resilience, and positive contributions as agents of change. We have seen some significant progress on these fronts over the recent years, but we still have a long way to go to ensure better youth representation and participation across the board. We need to put an increasing emphasis on elevating the voices of these young people who are often left farthest behind, including young women and girls, young persons with disabilities, young LGBTIQ plus people, indigenous youth, young refugees, and young migrants. In many ways, we are at an inflection point in history. The COVID-19 pandemic has served as a wake-up call, and with the climate crisis now looming, the world is experiencing its biggest shared test since the Second World War. Yet, even in these difficult circumstances, young people are always stepping up to the challenge. I have seen this in my work in conflict-affected areas, in humanitarian settings, and in the most vulnerable communities around the world, where young people are taking leadership in finding solutions and advocating for positive transformational change. It is young leaders like those of you who are here today who will play a critical role in challenging the status quo, building peace in your communities, and setting our world on track for a better, more sustainable future. A clear roadmap we have to support in these efforts is our common agenda, the UN Secretary General's latest agenda of action, which presents concrete proposals for how we can all work together and create a better future for everyone, everywhere. The report covers a wide range of recommendations from how we can combat misinformation to how we can better foster global solidarity to how we can accelerate meaningful action against climate change. And at the core of all of these efforts, the report calls for a deepening of solidarity with the world's young people. For so long, we know that those who inherit the consequences of the decision we take today are barely represented in decision-making, which is heavily weighted towards the short term. This is a chance to change that paradigm. With our common agenda, we have an opportunity to break through, reimagine what meaningful youth engagement looks like, and remove obstacles that stand in the way of young people achieving their full potential. The opportunities on this front are plentiful. The world today is home to the largest generation of youth in history. With more than half of the world's population under the age of 30, they represent the greatest opportunity we have for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. The world already has the knowledge and the resources to achieve these goals. Young people have the energy, ingenuity and ambition to make them a reality. That is why I'm calling on all policymakers everywhere to urgently make greater investments in youth from quality education and universal health care to skills development and creating decent green jobs. Building the capacities of young people and ensuring they have opportunities to achieve their potential will be critical to delivering the 2030 Agenda there is no better investment a country can make than in the capacities and potential of its young people. 
At the same time, I encourage young people around the world to continue actively engaging in these issues and hold their governments accountable. From its inception, the UN was envisioned to unite stakeholders everywhere to tackle the world's greatest challenges. As we look to recover better together from COVID-19, now more than ever, we need all stakeholders to join efforts in steering our world into a more peaceful, equitable and inclusive path. Today's young people recognize this perhaps more than any other generation in history. So let's give them an opportunity to lead. I look forward to continuing to work hand in hand with all of you to ensure that the UN is ready and able to deliver together with and for young people everywhere, achieving the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. And we depend on you. Thank you.